Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Sunday, and we are getting ready to head out and do our lunch, <laughs> lunchtime thing we do, and a few other stops. And like I told you, I wanted to come back today and do some, I wanted to show you just a couple more things, and then do, like, tell you some updates and stuff on the things that I got on, or that I showed you on Friday. The first one I can think of is today I have on, and I'm zoomed in pretty close, Today I have on the By Terry Cream with, I ran out of that Bare Minerals blemish that I love so much, so I'm using the Laura Mercier, it's not the Classic Beige, it's the other one, Rich Vanilla. I've got it and I used the Wayne Goss brush just the same and it seemed to really cover very well. That By Terry leaves kind of like a, not only does it kind of leave that icy finish, that glowy finish, but it also leaves, I don't know, a good finish for your powder to kind of stick to. And so I haven't had to wear any like liquid foundation or anything. And then I also used, let me, um, hold on a second, let me cut okay, that we'll light down just a little bit. Helps at all. I don't know. There you go. Maybe if I back up some. But um, I also used the Kevin O'Quan palette, that Legacy palette, and here comes this thing. <laughs> She must think she's a bird. She needs to be on my shoulder. Hey, Chanel. Hey, baby. Hey. She's purring so loud. But anyway, <laughs> I'll just let her sit there. Um, that palette, I'm not sure. I don't know when it's going to be available. If I can find out, I will put right here. I will contact Beautylish and ask them. That palette is beautiful. It really is. Even the case that it comes in, it's just um, 10 notches above any Urban Decay palette or anything. And so today I tried to use some different colors so that you could see, you know, since I've been going so neutral lately, I used some of the colors. I should have brought it up here. The two, the um, top right, I used that one in the crease, and then I used a little bit of brown to kind of blend it out, and then I used a purple. Seems like it was the second one over on the bottom, on like the outer, and it just, they blend like a dream. I've been using my Wayne Goss brushes. It's just been so easy. So, and then I just used, what liner did I use today? I try to switch up my liners because I want to see which ones work the best with these lashes, and today I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear black and no mascara or anything like that okay so is that I told you about those things and um last night i did my hair washed it and i used the that new flat iron again and um love it love it the one with the lips on it it's wonderful and so love that but I am going to still try to get the exact one that Morgan uses. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but you know, it's just like a challenge for me. And um, where is she now? What are you going to do? She's scaring me a little bit. <laughs> but um, so that's in the works. The hair dryer. I, last night I used my T3 because the other one that I showed you, I'm going to have to learn how to use without it just blasting my hair so much that it tangles. I don't know why she always wants to get behind. You can... <sighs> Chanel, that was her tail in front of the camera. She always wants to get behind my computer. She will not be ignored. Um, so, anyway, just be warned that that... Um, what is it, the Babyliss hair dryer. I think it's awesome. And I still, when I have more patience and I'm not making a video the next day, I'm still gonna try it again. But last night it was already getting late and I wanted to just dry my hair and do it. So um, still loving the Strength Shampoo. I used that last night. And, um, okay, Chanel, come on. So there goes those updates. Okay. This is one thing that I was sent this week out of the blue, and I just, it was perfect. It's like the perfect timing for this because you guys know I love the Big O keychain. I've used it for years now, and um, the first one I used so much, I just like almost destroyed it, and so they sent me another one. Well, when I got another car, I was trying to carry all my keys on one ring, and it was tough because it was just too many. It was too many to put in my purse, it was too many to, you know, just in my um, beetle, in bunny, 
you don't use a key to start it. So you have to like put the keys somewhere and I usually just put them right in the tray. And just so many keys were just, it was too much to put in the tray. So bottom line, I ended up splitting up my keys. And I left my big O key ring on my, on Black Beauty, my regular car, because I figured that is what John was used to going for. That's what we were used to with that car. So I felt like it made more sense to keep that key ring with that car. So I haven't had any key ring on Bunny. I've actually still got the little tag that you get from the dealership that came with it. And out of the blue this week, Big O sent me, let's see, it says, Hi Lisa, we love watching your videos. You are amazing. We thought you might enjoy attaching our O Central card case to your Big O when running to the grocery store to the gym. <laughs> and um, <laughs> enjoy our new Solid Gold Rush Croco and Gold Lush O Central. XOXO, Carolyn and Jane. Is it Jamie? I think it's Jamie. But look. Isn't that beautiful? So they sent me a new big old keychain for Bunny. I'm gonna put her keys on here. And then it comes in this bag. These are the best gifts ever. Last year, was it last year or year before? I think it might've been the year before. I gave my sister-in-law one. I gave her the lilac lavender type one. And then I gave my mom an orange one. My mom loves orange, like that burnt orange. And she loves green, like that um, muted green. She likes all the brownie colors, kind of opposite from me. And um, they're just great gifts. When people get them, I mean, they look at them like, oh, but then they'll tell you later that they couldn't go without it. And so they sent me the uh, the gold croc. Make sure, let me make sure you get the real look of this, how pretty it is. And it's really nice. It's not tacky. It's really nice. And then, you know, I needed like a card case anyway. They sent me the O Central card case, which is, oh, goodness gracious, is so nice. It has like the zipper top, so I can put plenty in there, like my cash or whatever. Or all those cards that you just don't use that much, like um, my library card, which I, I use that every two weeks when the books are due. But um, let's see, you know, any of those cards that I use, like um, Walgreens, stuff like that, I can put in there. And then I can put like my just debit card in there, things and my Zaxby's salad card, put it right there. And then you can attach this to your key ring. Like if you just want to go like to the movies or some of those things that I don't take my purse with me usually. So love this. I mean, what a great gift that would be. I mean, we're coming up at Christmas and we're, John and I are really, I am going to be the one doing it, but um, we really want to get a lot of our Christmas shopping done early. Like it's almost too late to be really early, but early for me is before two weeks before Christmas. Usually around two weeks before Christmas is when I really buckle down and I do it, but I really want to um, get and more done this year. It always comes with like their little motto, opens wide for easy access, credit cards, cash, ID, right at your fingertips, works multiple ways, easily hooks on the big O key ring, slips right into your small clutch or large tote, or can stay single as your key ring. Top quality, genuine leather, water repellent, scratch resistant. Thank you very much to Oventure for that. I really appreciate it and just have loved their products for years now. Okay, then the next thing I wanted to show you, I actually just got yesterday, and it was a surprise package from Nadine, my friend that lives in New Jersey, and she is the one that came to see me. If I can find our picture, I'll put it at the end, but she is the one that drove to see Sheila and I when I was in New York, and oh, I love Nadine. I mean, no matter whatever happens with this whole YouTube thing with me, I have met some of the most wonderful people and just to form some friendships. And I always say that's why I can believe that people really can like fall in love like on match.com and stuff because you know, years and years ago, if you'd ever told me that you could form like such a relationship with someone that you were never really around or haven't really met, I wouldn't believe it. But now I really can see how um, after a while you really can tell, you know, if you can bond with someone. Sorry. I would have to, maybe, I don't know. Next time I'll try to lock her out of here. But anyway, so Nadine knows exactly what I like. Her, she went shopping with us when we went shopping at Bergdorf that day. And she sent me the most amazing box of stuff. The sweetest card. She sent Will a gift card. She sent Brooke a really cool um, 
flannel sweatshirt with like her school thing on the back that she had made for her. Just awesome stuff. And here comes Sassy. But when I opened this, I was like, ah. I just went to Chanel, the Chanel counter the other day to see what they had new. And I was pushed for time. I was on my way out of Belk. And my friend Amanda was there. And I did get a sample of the Lift Lumiere that I've tried a few times. But haven't tried it enough to tell you whether I like it. But um, Amanda was with a, another client and I just had to go. So I didn't get a chance to really look at anything. So, but I have seen, the, I have seen this on many different blogs and wanted to try this. And it is the Powder Blush in 280 Golden Sun. And it is amazing. And really, I wish somebody would just make a Chanel blush perfume. It is, it's not like anything else you've ever smelled. If you just buy one Chanel blush, you have to. I don't know, and it might be, it might be something with me because it reminds me of when I first kind of um, got into high-end makeup when I, I was probably about 24, 25, about the time that you start um, making a little bit of money. And um, at that time I was married before, but he was making good money. And it was, you know, when you're 18, 19, I mean, I can't imagine spending that much money on makeup. But anyway, that was back then. Here we go. Here's the blush. It is, I'm going to put it up here. I hope you can really see the color. It is beautiful. It is like a mauve It's, to me, it is like a more wearable version of Accent. Maybe kind of like that NARS um, Dessure. It's just that blush that we all love that has enough, see, I'll back up. I've got it today used with the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder I put on first. Then I put on his that um, highlighting powder and then I put this kind of right in between it and just used it with the um, white Wayne Goss double zero brush to just put you know just to accent your cheeks kind of like that the accent blush but that is how this is so if you've always wanted to try accent um, this is lighter but it I just feel like it does the same thing it's I would say it's along the same lines as tempting beige and um, what is the other Chanel blush that I love so much that I had before I even started YouTube? One of my, two of my favorites were Tempting Beige and Rose Bronze. This is along those lines. So if you like those, you will like this. And I believe this is limited edition and I'm so thankful, Nadine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I sent her a text last night, but it was late when I opened everything. Uh, Brooke and I opened everything together and I haven't, I haven't spoke with her since. Let me see if she's texted me back. Nope, she must be busy. So we usually text at least, if not, probably every other day. It's probably. So love that. And then she sent me this lip combo and I do have it on today. And for old time's sake, I used my, this lip liner is probably one that I have gone through the most. This one and, um, the Lancome lip liners have been my true blue lip liners from the beginning. And I used to really like the L'Oreal Roll Up lip liners. I used to one use the one called the Mauves and the Plums and the Wines. And I don't like those quite as much anymore just because I like the Sharpen style better. Just because of the way they apply. But anyway, she sent me this lipstick. I have not gotten a Chanel lipstick in a long time. It's the Rouge Coco in 402 Adrian. <laughs> like Rocky. And it's beautiful. I mean, all the lipsticks she sent me are so pretty. So here it is. I'll show you down here in the lighting. It's just a beautiful toffee kind of color with a little bit of pink tone to it. And then I'll put it up here for you to see. Gorgeous. I mean, an everyday, everyday color. And this is my favorite formula, the good old Rouge Coco. And then, um, so back to, I don't know if I ever even told you the lip liner I was using. I'm using the Chanel Nude. Not the natural or the beige, but the true nude. And it's a darker nude. And when I was um, like in my 20s and wearing a lot of the Chanel products and stuff, I bet I sold, I don't know how many of these for them, because I would wear this 
lip liner with one of their lipsticks called Bisque. And Bisque has long been since discontinued. And what I would do is put on this and then mix the Bisque in. And it was the 90s. So that was when this, you know, um, lip, that more of a 3D lip was more popular. And <clears throat> it just makes your lips look so full. And everyone would ask me what I was wearing. Like all the wives at my husband's work. And um, they all started wearing it. And they were like, God, you got us attached to, you know, an expensive lip liner, an expensive lipstick. But it was just the best. And so I kind of did that today. And then she sent me this lip gloss, which is a glossomer. And it is 477 Rose de Lune. And oh, it's beautiful. It's one of those classic, just sparkly goodness, you know, Chanel glossomers. Um, it reminds me of when I put it on, this is the same look that like Chanel, no, not Chanel, but Buxom Celeste gives you. When you put it over a gloss, it just makes your lips immediately. And I have blotted this. I just took a, you know, little thing of toilet paper and, um, kind of blotted my lips so it wouldn't be like too goopy and just end up being this big. But, um, so love that. So if you like my lips, it is, I'll put everything down below, my whole lip combo. Okay, so she sent those to me. Then she sent me this, which is beautiful. Brooke um, immediately loved this and swatched it. And it's number 11, Nude Love by Essence. And it is gorgeous. Just a gorgeous, nudie nude. Look how pretty that is. Very similar to the Chanel, except for lighter. Just, it reminds me a lot of the MAC lipsticks that we like. So I'll be wearing, I'll try to wear all of this stuff this week. Then this one, I have heard you guys talk about this, and I think I've even seen it on Instagram, and I don't have it. And it is a MAC cream sheen called Pillow Talk. And I did kind of buzz through MAC the other day. Megan and Nikki were there, and I asked them, you know, what's new? Anything I've got to have? Any good nude or pink lipsticks? And they were like, well, all the holiday collection has come out. And I wasn't really interested in that. The one I looked at had um, cream cup in it, and I've already got cream cup. So that was when I kind of buzzed over to Chanel. But um, I had forgotten to even ask about this. And I don't know if this is part of their permanent collection or if it's like a new one. But it is beautiful. And I love the cream sheens. That's probably my favorite. Cream sheen and satin are probably my favorite formula. And like I said, it's called Pillow Talk. And it is beautiful. If you like Velvet Teddy, Honey Love, um, Modesty... Um, all those, it's just along those lines, it's going to be a very, very sexy color. Very good nude, um, big, you know, full lip, Bridget Bardot, or, you know, that type lip. Gorgeous. I can't wait to use all of these. So, pay attention to my Instagram, and I'll make, I'll make sure I use all of these this week. And then she sent me this, which is so interesting. It's a Bobbi Brown lip pencil, and it's number 27. I'm not sure if it has a name. Um, Bobby Brown lip pencil number 27. Um, just says Bobby. Oh, oh, okay. So this is probably some kind of special edition. I have to look this up. And if I find any information on it, I'll put it right here. But it is a dark lip liner. And it is going to look, there you go. It is going to look so good here. Should have probably worn this today. But I am looking forward to using that. It's along the same lines as Ideal, but maybe a little bit darker, or Chanel Chocolate. But I was thinking the whole concept of, like, Max Stone. Or, gosh, and it's got a beautiful... Let me um, smudge this out a little bit. That is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Is going to be a good one. So this with the pillow talk is going to be. Let me get a on that with the pillow talk is going to be gorgeous. Gosh, so many good things. I mean, so many good things. Then she sent me this Dior brush, the backstage brushes. It is the full coverage tint or face brush, and it is. Let's see, in their wonderful velvet case as usual. And when I see Dior brushes, I think of Anna Saccone, or it, what, what did it used to be? Anna, oh, what was her, um, I can't remember her name when she first started. Oh yeah, Anna Saccone Jolie, yeah, that's what it is, I think. 
a thing. And you guys know, but um, she always used Dior brushes. And um, this is nice. This I'll have to use with my, because when I put on my sample of the Chanel the other day, I was trying to use a stippling brush and it wasn't, wasn't what I needed. So I'll try that with that. This Clarins lipstick, beautiful. It's the Jolie Rouge in T-Rose. And I don't think I have this. I don't think I've ever tried it and I can't believe it. Beautiful. So you can see. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, this is a Rosie Huntington Whiteley type color. Angelina Jolie. My lips but better type color. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then the last one, this is the best name ever. It is the Guerlain Shaping Lip Cream Lip Color in Kiss Kiss, and then it's number 369, Rosie Boop. <laughs> Just like that. There you go. Rosie Boop. <laughs> I love it. And it is beautiful. First of all, look at this case. And the case of a lipstick just does matter, I think. I love pretty cases like that, especially when you are out. And this is very similar to the T-Rose, maybe a little bit lighter pink. I would, like, I'm trying to be, not take so long here because my family is actually waiting on me. And you know how much I talk and talk. That video the other day, I'm sorry I kept cutting myself off. It's a lot of it is, I need to probably, when I have to edit a lot, I probably need to pick another transition for my videos. That video was an, an hour and like almost 15 minutes. So that's why I had to edit so much out of it. I just talk too much. I wish I just, I need to, I wish I could just talk and talk and talk, but I know my videos are already so long. So thank you so much, Nadine. I feel like I've probably forgotten something to show you guys something, but um, I will be back and I'm working on my vlog today. Hopefully I'll get that put together. And I took you with me this week when I got my lashes done. So, um, that will be in there and a little bit of, you know, a few other little things. And the nail polish I have on today is one that Tammy gave me a while ago that I love. And every time I use this nail polish, any of, any of the colors of this Morgan Taylor nail polish, it is one of my favorite, favorite formulas. It is very similar to Essie in that it just glides on your nails. You don't have to, it's not globby, you don't have to worry about. With my nails being kind of small, I really have to um, be careful when I'm trying to like paint the sides of them. Those of you with those big, beautiful, wide, long nails can just do that. But when you have smaller nails, it's harder to get in the crevices and you need a formula that kind of just goes on its own and that's how this does. And But if you think that the Essie brush is too small, this is good. This kind of combines Essie and OPI, and it's beautiful. And the name of this is Super Ultra Violet, which is one of my favorite colors. It's kind of like a blue-violet color. Okay, outfit of the day. I'll be right back. So today I have on, I've been wanting to wear this jacket and these leggings together for a while now, and it's just been hot and everything. I haven't been able to do it. But today I've got on, these are my David Lerner. They're the coated leggings that I got from ShopBop. And then this is a, it's actually like a um, tank. I just have a regular bra on with it, but it's just a tank from LNA. And then this is the Obey jacket that you guys saw a while ago at Oliver. And I think they it's even better. have a couple. What I like about this too is it actually does. Um, I'll put what size I'm wearing down below, but I like that it actually zips. I don't know. It's kind of um, Kate Mossy to me, <laughs> or. Annabelle Nielsen, all those girls that I love their style. And um, then my shoes are just my favorites. I could have put on some boots, but I want to wear these as much as I can before it gets really, really cold because I love them so much. And they're the Stuart Weitzman uh, Nudist Song in Nude Patent. And I guess that's it. <laughs> what you doing? Mm -hmm. What you doing? Are you with Mama? <laughs> Silly. You're so silly. Okay, and for accessories, let me zoom in as much as I can to show you these. I've got on Dean's. These are those, um, God, I can't remember exactly what they're called now. I'll put the um, name right here, but they are the earrings I was showing you with the little pave onyx in there. Oh, they're beautiful. And look how they, like if I had my hair up, how they just frame your face. 
Isn't that beautiful? Look how pretty that blush and that contour. I mean, I just think that is, without that contour powder in that palette from Kevin Aquan is probably the best one I've ever used because it doesn't get muddy, but yet it still gives you that darkness. And then with that um, highlight and then that blush, this Chanel blush, which is Golden Sun, it's awesome. And um, then I have on his necklaces, and I was just going to wear this, but I could not resist putting this on again. And I think it goes well with the whole t-shirt and leggings and stuff like that. So, Vortex necklace. I love this. And so, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I really do. I really do. I hope that things, even when th bad things happen, you just have to kind of learn from them. And, you know, believe me, we go through our things here, too, and I just have to... Um, I don't know, just look at the bright side and look at all the blessings in our life and get through it. So I hope you have a good week. <laughs> Always get off and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.